partial stability test. This test is done on bituminous mixes. You can observe the bitumen. Usually it will be in solid state when it is subjected to heat generally at 60 to 70 degrees centigrade bitumen starts flowing in order to use bitumen for any purpose mostly for for construction of bituminous roads that is flexible bitumen is mixed with the aggregates which forms the top layer of the flexible pavement bitumen is heated on the hot plate such that it reaches until it reaches the temperature of 60 to 60 to 70 degrees at that temperature bitumen starts flowing it changes its state from solid to fluid the top layer of flexible pavement particularly the surface course has to withstand high stress conditions wear and tear due to traffic loads in addition, the surface course is exposed to adverse climatic factors including the temperature variations, even water runoff on the surface course. Properly designed high quality hot bituminous mixes are laid on the surface course of flexible pavement so as to sustain heavy traffic loads, wear and tear and high speed vehicle movement require good surface. And the thermometer is used to check the temperature. The temperature is checked such that the bitumen changes its state and reaching the fluid state such that it starts flowing. High quality bituminous mixes, commonly known as hot mix, asphalt, or HMA, it consists of well graded hard aggregates and suitable bituminous binder of correct proportion. Bituminous mixtures are prepared in a hot mix plant using mineral aggregates and binder that is bitumen in appropriate proportion as per mix design at suitable mixing temperature the mix is spread with a paper rolled and finished at suitable compacting temperature to specific density and surface profile the bituminous mixes laid in lower layers of flexible pavement such as binder course and base course are subjected to lower levels of stresses due to traffic loads than those laid in the surface course. Further, lower pavement layers are subjected to lesser variations in temperature and moisture due to climatic factors and negligible wear and tear due to traffic movement. Therefore, bituminous mix used in these layers are designed by considering the above factors that are lower levels of stresses due to traffic loads it is necessary to design bituminous mixes so as to withstand the repeated stresses and deformation and resultant fatigue the mix should also possess adequate resistance to low temperature cracking moisture induced damage and resistance to permanent deformation due during hot weather caused by climatic variations the workability the workability of the mix should be adequate at mixing you can up the nominal size of the aggregate is 19 mm and it is subjected to the nominal size of the aggregate is 19 mm and it is sieved through sieve sizes of 26.5 19 mm 13.2 9.5 mm 4.75 mm 2.36 1.18.6 Point three zero point one five zero point zero seven five mm and after completing and the bitumen is in the floating condition it changes its state and aggregate and the aggregate is preheated you can observe thermometer is used to diesel thermometer is used to check the temperature of the aggregates on the hot plate the aggregates comprises of different sizes in different proportions as per mix design and bitumen bitumen content ranging from 5 to 6 is mixed for 1200 grams of the aggregate you can observe aggregate reaching more than 100 degrees centigrade on the hot plate generally at this temperature bitumen is added to the aggregates 
and aggregates and the bitumen were properly mixed to form a uniform mix of hot mix asphalt HMA that is bituminous concrete. Bitumen at floating temperature is added to the aggregates of different proportions the, to the total quantity of the aggregates is the base plate of the Marshall mold and it is in dextrin and glycerin a solution is made such that bitumen won't get stick to the surface of the metal mold inside the mold and the base plate is properly and after properly applying, applied the solution to the inner surface of the mold. the mold the mixture of aggregate and bitumen is filled and even for the rammer surface which is coming in contact with the bitumen dextrin solution dextrin and glycerin originated solution is applied make sure that uh, the solution is applied evenly onto the rammer surface and the heated aggregate mm. is aggregate is weighed to check the weight of the aggregates of different sizes due to the weight of the pan the weight of the aggregates is added with the weight of the pan most of the cases it will be around to 1200 grams and for that weight the percentage of bitumen is calculated in the range of 5 to 6 percent and that much quantity of bitumen is added to the aggregates in hot condition you can observe the weight of the of the total ingredients in the pan that is bitumen and the aggregates these are preheated aggregates a base plate is placed on the balance such that it won't cause any damage to the balance and it is not advisable to use hot objects on the balance the care is taken such that the, ba the balance won't get damaged and after that uh, bitumen is properly mixed with the aggregates to form uniform mixture and the whole mixed aggregate with the bitumen is transferred to the mold in hot condition. Bitumen heated on the pan along with the aggregates is seen that properly mixed with the aggregates around 6% of bitumen is added for the aggregates to form a uniform bitumenous concrete and the whole mixture is properly stirred such that the bitumen mixes well into the mm. along with the aggregates and the mold is placed in the manual pedestal and it is proper it is it is firmly fixed with the with the pedestal such that it won't move while it is getting com compacted and af after the mold is properly fixed onto the pedestal the bitumen is transferred in the whole mixed bitumen and the aggregates were transferred into the mold this is how the aggregates are filled in the mold you can observe it is the hot mix being transferred into the mold And after that, after transferring the whole mix into the mold using the manual hammer, the weight of the hammer is 4.5 kg and it is compacted for 75 blows on the both sides. After 75 blows on the one side, the whole sample is turned upside down and the process of 
Um, ramming with the hammer. <coughs> the hammer used for compacting the bitumen bitumenous concrete in the mouth for 75 blows and after completing 75 blows on the one side it is reversed and the process of ramming with the hammer is continued on the other side of the mold Carefully turn the mold upside down. Sample in the Such mold that won't get disturbed. The, the mold is made ready and for the collar is adjusted on the other side and the collar to the mold of the cylinder is placed firmly on the mold. That is cylindrical mold. And this is how the mold is fixed again onto the pedestal. The care the is taken the such that setup such that it fixes firmly to suitable position such that it won't move at the time of ramming with the hammer. The mold is properly adjusted onto the pedestal. And after that, using the hammer, 75 blows were applied on the sample. Seventy-five blows were given on. The mold is placed on the steel, and the blows were applied on the specimen with the help of the hammer and this is how the specimen looks like after completing 75 blows on the on the pedestal after preparing the sample uh, the next stage of the test will be continued and this is the part one of the martial stability test